Hi guys, how are you doing? It's the 14th of February 2022 and today I believe I received a prophetic dream. Please pray about my dream. Now I can't remember it 100% but I remember bits of it and I'll try and share it the best I can with you. Alright? Okay, basically a volcano went off. Now I didn't see the volcano go off but I saw how this volcano was affecting a life around it. All right, and that's what I'm going to share with you about it. Now, this volcano affected like a huge area around it. I basically saw like a city in two parts and the distance was miles. I saw like parks, you know, where you take the dog for a walk sort of thing. I saw like rivers with bridges over them. I saw urban areas where people live. I saw like, like a popular city centre sort of thing. I saw all of this and I saw like, you know, normal everyday ordinary people living their lives in this city before this volcano went off. Um, like I said, I didn't see the volcano, but I saw the lava pouring into the city right and like honestly man it's like I've, I've never witnessed anything quite like this before and and the the only comparison i can mention is like flooding of water we know how it is if a city floods we know what that looks like well it was basically flooding with lava does that make sense and so, like, if you walk through a city where it floods down a road or whatever, you know that if you really had to or really wanted to, you could cross that water. But with the lava, you couldn't. Obviously, we know this. And it made, like, manoeuvrability very difficult. And, like... The other thing I even noticed is, again, with flooding with water, say if it flooded over a road, with water, even if you didn't choose to cross the water, you could go around it. I mean, you could step pretty close to it, almost to the point where you're paddling in it, and, and go around the water. But in this dream, where the lava flowed and flooded, you couldn't get close to the lava to get around it. And I saw the lava creating fires. I, uh, in, the, in this park area and I was basically running over to these people in this like vast area or a huge part of this city and I was I was saying we are in the end and I was saying you need to come this way for safety you know and people were like uh, just in just unbelievable shock um, and it's almost as if they were in denial and they were still trying to live their lives in this city with lava all around them. And I saw like the, the lava falling into like rivers and like the whole river became like lava. I saw the, the lava like, like go down streets and like engulfed everything. And it was like almost everywhere you went, like I went into this field at one point and everywhere you looked, there was like lava surrounding and engulfing this city. It was really horrific, man. You know what I mean? And it, but it flowed like slowly. I mean, it didn't flow like water, but it flowed like, well, it flowed enough to know to be significantly noticeable you know with, within minutes it would be like just everywhere sort of thing <sighs> i need to explain that where this lava was the sort of city that i saw it affecting looked like a western city so i'm talking about america or the uk you know it was it was like the uk or america when you look around the streets of america or the uk it was a it was like it, it's, it was affecting the Western world, all right? It wasn't in an Eastern country. 
And I saw like normal parks that we walk down, like you know, and, like bridges and like footpath bridges and um yeah it was really bad and i was really trying to warn the people there you know i'm just trying to think back to the dream if there's anything else that i can remember from this dream <sighs> i don't think there is but please pray about what i shared with you all right be ready for this all right guys be ready for this and uh you know make sure you're spiritually ready with our lord so be in daily repentance and daily submission to our lord all right and make sure that you are preparing physically as well all right now in the description there's a link to the christian communities world safe locations all right call it world safe locations sorry christian communities it's now called on facebook feel free to click on that and join a community on facebook and below that is a link to or are links to the survival guide that you'd be able to grab in your own country all right yeah don't be shocked about what is coming man make sure that you have a backup plan so you know when these things begin to happen make sure you have a, a bug out bag ready to go your kit plans to go to your safe location with your community just have a plan in place man don't be caught out don't be caught in a city where you're left in denial and you're thinking of just trying to survive it out you, you wouldn't be able to man like i'm i'm, I'm telling you I'm not, I'm not trying to be horrible lava starts flowing through your city you can't stay there water even with that i would say it's not great but water water recedes it goes away but sometimes but not lava you would have no choice but to move away from that area all right and so don't stay in an area like that with that happening all right all right cool like i say please pray about this please get ready Join the links in the description. Grab the survival guide if you haven't got it already. Um, the new survival guide, hopefully, will be along in a few months. But it's better to grab that one than have nothing, if you know what I mean. And it's at a cheaper rate on there, sort of thing. But hopefully, the new one will be along soon. But well, either way, put a plan in place. Get ready, man. Be prepared for what's coming. All right? Sweet, man. It was a hard dream to witness, like it was hard. It's, um, I don't know how to explain that, you know, it's, it affects me, you know, to see like a Western country with a volcano that must have been absolutely huge to cause that much damage with that amount of lava flow from it. I mean, it, obviously it's horrible to see that anywhere in the world, but just seeing like a Western environment like, like that. Anyway, I love you guys. You be safe, man. Over and out. Take care.